Yep, I crashed. Almost 12 years of riding experience. Clock tens of thousands of kilometers on all kinds of bikes while taking all safety precautions and following all rules. And even then eventually crashed right outside my house. God damn it. What, why and how? This story is about everything that led me into this situation. Insouciance, meaning a casual lack of concern. Insouciance on the road happens in the form of ignorance towards traffic rules, reluctance of using safety gear and most importantly, insouciance that comes from the assumption, an assumption that is the result of the expectation that everyone else on the road is as attentive on road as you. I have never been insouciant on road when it comes to following rules or using safety gear. Because I never overestimated my skill or the lack of it. I have always stuck to my lanes, never jumped a signal, never rode on a footpath. Well, once by mistake. Oh, I didn't realize I'm on a footpath. <laughs> I always wear at least a helmet every time I'm on my bike and wear all the riding gear I have during longer rides. Where I am guilty of being insouciant is assuming that everyone else on the road is as aware of the rules and road safety as I am. And just like me, we all are. We take risky turns assuming our tires will grip the roads good enough to not slide over it like a cell world. We rush at a signal when we see just two seconds left on the timer, assuming that traffic from other side will patiently wait for their light to turn green. We also ride in confidence in our vehicles even if we know that they are not in perfect shape. And we also save an issue with our machines for later when we have the time or will to finally do it. Oh, I need to get it fixed because ABS is a crucial, crucial thing. But Anurag, why have you suddenly started preaching about road safety, traffic rules and this new word called insouciance? I'm not interested, interested yaar. Just reminding it. ये रास्ता यहाँ पे क्यों है भाई घाई था तो मैं क्या करूँ अभी बता सॉरी नहीं इंश्योरेंस का पेपर बता मैं ये करता हूँ वो स्टैंड नहीं स्टैंड नहीं करो चला इंश्योरेंस बता हाँ गाड़ी किसके नाम पे है बता जरा ऑफिस का नाम बता अच्छा साइड में लगा ये रास्ते में क्यों लगा रहा हाँ नहीं भाई सॉरी कैसे थैंक यू हाँ भाई कौन से ऑफिस में काम करता है तू हाँ क्या है वो कुरियर कर यार इतना अच्छा रोड बनाया है इधर खड्डे भी नहीं है उधर और तेरे को पता नहीं क्या यहाँ से ट्रैफिक आ रहा है कंपनी का नंबर बता तेरे हम्म काट लेंगे इधर पैसा जाने को ना अरे तू चिल्लाएंगे मेरा नुकसान ये देख इधर आ ये देख ये स्क्रैच है ये स्क्रैच है ये है ये है ये है ये है कौन देगा बता हम्म वो क्या लीक हो गया वो भी समझ नहीं आ रहा अब गाड़ी के नीचे पैर आता मेरा तो क्या करता बता अब मैं तेरे को ज्ञान देने के लिए नहीं रुका हूँ बट किसके नाम पे गाड़ी है कंपनी वाले के नाम पे तो उनका इंश्योरेंस रहेगा ना 
पूछ ना फिर मेरा नुकसान हो गया उसका क्या इतना खाई वो ऑफिस वाले खाई कराते हैं क्या तेरे को और इतना 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 ये करके तूने कितना टाइम बचा लिया बता हम्म चल जा अभी क्या कर सकते हैं नहीं ठीक है अभी अब बस एक ध्यान रख कि भाई सामने वाले का भी थोड़ा ये रखना है उधर से घूम के जा कभी भी जाएगा तो ये डिवाइडर ना किसी चीज के लिए है इसका कोई फंक्शन होता है हाँ ठीक है At this point, the guy had accepted his mistake and was guilty for it, and in a way was at my mercy. This could have easily cost him his salary, so I decided to just let him go with an advice. But this is not it. He surely did learn his lesson. But I had a lot to learn too. There were a couple of things that went wrong and could have been avoided voluntarily by me and saved myself from the crash. First, the guy in front of me is in the wrong lane. Where he should be is here. Secondly, he is riding on a turn. on the wrong side i had just hopped on the bike that morning and was at a considerably higher speed than i should have been on this road icing on the cake is the blind curve which obviously gives me no idea of what awaits ahead this is where it's too late for me to react and as my natural instinct or rather a panic i grab the brakes and a little harder than i should have because of the sheer suddenness the rear tire skids followed by the front going off and This is where I learned that whenever we are on the road we should make it a rule that we never ride beyond our vision and beyond our skill There was one big underlying problem it is hard to notice by the naked eye of the viewer but I am guilty of being complacent the weakest link was my ABS for a lay person ABS stands for anti lock braking system which as the name suggests prevents your wheel from locking during panic braking situations situations exactly like this and yes i had issues with my abs for the longest time and had been lazy to get it fixed so sure, why this abs light is on i need to get it fixed because abs is a crucial crucial thing had i got it fixed as soon as i knew it this probably wouldn't have happened although to give myself the benefit of doubt Cornering ABS would have been much more helpful in this situation, but my bike never had that feature. What it had was ABS, and that wasn't working. Thankfully, I was lucky enough to learn this lesson in not a painful way, and came out of it unscathed. With little injuries on my knees, the first thing that I did after this was obviously correct what I can. इसके ABS में कुछ problem है वो fix करना है. वो light हमेशा जलती रहती है और basically वो काम ही नहीं करता ABS. We often tend to take things for granted. We all are guilty of doing that. And I'm also very sure that me, the very same person making this video, is going to take things granted on the road some day again and be insouciant. Being on the road, especially on the bike, comes with a lot of risks. And these risks are a part and parcel of what we already are aware of when we sign up for it. So should we stop riding bikes on the road then? No. We just need to keep reminding ourselves that we need to ride within our capabilities and with full attention. And if we don't, life has beautiful ways of reminding us about our mortality. And we'd rather not let life teach us that. In case you find yourself in an unfortunate situation like this, instead of finding a way to shift the blame on others and whine about it, use this opportunity to self-reflect and improve things that can be improved. Imagine every bastard on the road including you is going to do their best to put you in the hospital. And with that thought in your mind, make sure you gear up as much as you can and prepare yourself for the worst scenario. And with whatever's left of an alert enough mind and a brave enough soul, make sure you have as much fun as possible. Because trust me, you never would want to stop riding. Thanks for watching.